Let's get right into it. Number 6. Microwave magic. Imagine you're a scientist. You're doing very serious science things. Lab coat. Equations. Probably a clipboard. And then your chocolate bar melts in your pocket. Not metaphorically. Not symbolically. Physically. Congratulations. You've just invented the microwave. That's basically what happened in 1945 when engineer Percy Spencer was working on radar technology. Radar. War stuff. Beep beep military energy. And suddenly his snack turned into soup. Now a normal person might have gone, huh, weird, and thrown the pants away. But Spencer leaned in like a true chaos intellectual and thought, what if I weaponize this against leftovers? Fast forward a few decades and now you're standing in your kitchen at 2.14 a.m., reheating pizza that's been dead since Tuesday. You don't question the science. You don't ask how it works. You just trust the glowing box and hope it doesn't explode your plate like it did that one time. The psychology here is beautiful. Humans love convenience so much that we'll happily accept uneven heating, rubbery textures, and food that's lava on the outside and frozen at its core. Why? Because waiting is pain. Your brain would rather eat questionable spaghetti now than perfect spaghetti later. Microwaves work by exciting water molecules, which is a polite scientific way of saying they shake your food aggressively until it gives up and becomes hot. It's less cooking and more intimidation. Basically, one melted candy bar turned into the reason you can eat soup in 90 seconds. Accidents don't just happen. Sometimes they beep loudly and ask you to stir halfway through. Number 5. Sticky Notes You know that feeling when you need to remember something important, but your brain immediately deletes it like spam email? That's where sticky notes come in. Little yellow squares of desperation clinging to your desk like emotional support paper. Sticky notes exist because a scientist at 3M was trying to invent super strong glue. Instead, he made the world's most underachieving adhesive. It stuck. But only kind of. Not enough to be useful. Not enough to be impressive. Just enough to be disappointing. For years, this glue sat around like a failed group project. Until another guy thought, what if we use this to mark pages in a book without ruining them? And boom. Suddenly the weakest glue in the room became the most emotionally reliable object in your life. Psychologically, sticky notes work because your brain loves visual clutter when it's on your terms. That little neon square hijacks your attention. It screams, look at me, you promised you'd do this. And your brain, easily bullied, obeys. They're also temporary, which is comforting. Unlike tattoos or permanent decisions, sticky notes say, this matters, but not forever. It's commitment without consequences, just like most of your plans. So every time you slap one onto your monitor and ignore it for three weeks, remember, this invention exists because someone failed at glue. Spectacularly. And honestly, same. Number four, potato chips. Some foods are designed with love, others are designed with science. Potato chips were designed with spite. In 1853, a chef named George Crumb was working at a restaurant when a customer kept sending back their fried potatoes. Too thick, too soggy, not crispy enough. Eventually, Crumb snapped and sliced the potatoes paper thin fried them into crunchy little salt bombs, and sent them out as a sarcastic middle finger. The customer loved them. Now you're on your couch, three bags deep, licking salt off your fingers like a raccoon with Wi-Fi, all because someone got annoyed. Your brain loves potato chips because they hit the holy trinity, fat, salt, and crunch. Crunch is important. Crunch tells your brain, this is fresh. This is good. This is worth ignoring your future health for. Every bite sounds like success. There's also the can't eat just one phenomenon, which is not a marketing slogan, it's a psychological trap. Chips are engineered to disappear just fast enough that your brain never gets bored, but never gets satisfied either. It's an endless loop of just one more, which turns into where did the bag go? Potato chips are rage-fueled, accidentally brilliant, and nutritionally questionable. They're proof that human progress sometimes comes from irritation and oil. Basically, a petty kitchen moment turned into your biggest weakness during movie night. Number 3. Safety Glass you ever notice how your phone screen can shatter into a thousand tiny pieces, yet somehow not slice your finger clean off? That's not luck. That's an accident pretending to be responsibility. Safety glass was invented when a scientist dropped a glass flask that didn't break the way glass is emotionally obligated to break. Instead of exploding into weaponized shards, it cracked politely and stayed together like it knew it was in public. Turns out the flask had a plastic coating inside, completely by accident. No big plan, no dramatic lightning strike, just a wait. Why didn't that kill me moment? Your brain is obsessed with safety but hates thinking about it. You don't wake up every day thanking tempered glass for not turning your windshield into a guillotine. You just assume the world won't randomly stab you, and honestly, that's optimistic behavior. Psychologically, safety glass works because it lets you forget danger exists. Cars, buildings, phones, shower doors. All things that would absolutely betray you without this invention. But since they don't, your brain files them under boring and moves on. 
The irony? You only notice safety glass when it fails. When it spider webs instead of detonating, you're annoyed, not grateful. Because inconvenience registers louder than survival. So yeah, safety glass exists because someone dropped something. Now it's the silent bodyguard of modern life. Taking hits while you scroll memes and complain about minor scratches. Basically gravity messed up once and now you're alive. Number 2. Super glue. Super glue was invented while scientists were trying to make clear plastic for gun sites. Instead, they created a substance so sticky it basically said, I own you now, the moment you touched it. At first, they hated it. Too sticky, too uncontrollable, too much personality. It glued everything except the thing they wanted, so they shelved it. Years later, someone realized this nightmare substance could stop bleeding in emergencies, then fix broken things, then permanently bond your fingers together for no reason at all. Your brain loves super glue because it promises instant repair. Something breaks, boom, fixed, no waiting, no emotional processing, just chemical commitment. It's the opposite of duct tapes, this might work energy. Super glue is confident, aggressive, slightly threatening. There's also the thrill, you know it's dangerous, the warnings are intense, caps lock energy, yet you still use it casually like, I'll just be careful, right before becoming a human sculpture. Super glue taps into your desire for control. The world breaks things constantly, and here's a liquid that says, not today. Even if it means sacrificing a bit of your skin. So next time you're peeling your fingers apart and questioning your life choices, remember, this invention exists because science failed successfully. Basically, it's a mistake that refuses to let go. Number 1. Penicillin. Picture this. You're a scientist but not in a movie way. No dramatic music, no genius monologue, just a messy desk, forgotten petri dishes, and the vague vibe of, I'll clean that later. Then one day you look at a moldy experiment and instead of panic, you accidentally save millions of lives. That's penicillin. Alexander Fleming wasn't trying to invent the world's first antibiotic. He was studying bacteria and left some dishes out like a procrastinating legend. Mold grew, the bacteria around it died. And instead of throwing it away and pretending it never happened, like most of us do with mistakes, he paid attention. Your brain is terrible at appreciating this invention because it's invisible when it works. You take antibiotics, you feel better, and you move on. No fireworks, no standing ovation, just fewer infections trying to end your entire storyline. But psychologically? This changed everything. Before penicillin, your body could lose a fight to a paper cut with confidence. Surgery was basically a gamble. Infection wasn't a risk, it was a personality trait. Penicillin turned your immune system from doing its best into backed by science. It gave humans a safety net so big we forgot how fragile we actually are. That's why people now argue with doctors like, Are you sure I need to finish the whole course? Yes, Kevin. The mold demands respect. The irony is brutal. Something that grew because of neglect became one of the most important discoveries in medical history. Forget hustle culture. Forget perfect planning. Sometimes the world-changing move is just not cleaning your lab on time. So yeah, the reason you survive infections that would have wiped out your ancestors is because someone noticed mold and thought, huh, interesting. Basically, humanity owes its continued existence to a lazy afternoon and a dirty dish. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.